Alright, alright, alright. Okay. I came a little bit harsh. Alright. Actually, I kind of like Big Pimpin'. <laughs> I guess I was in New York at the time and I was doing extremely, I was doing really well. And so I would go to the club and they would pay Big Pimpin'. And I didn't like the video because I didn't like Hype Williams. And I had probably told y'all why. But I, I didn't really dislike Hype Williams. I just didn't like something he did. Okay. So, and anyway, we serve a second chance God. So, so I'm sorry. I didn't mean, I, did, I looked at what this brother said. Uh, D-Rock Dora. D Rock Doro. Doro. D Rock Doro. Uh, but uh, intellectual brother. And, um, but I still don't agree. But let me tell you something. Like I said, when I first heard it, it caught me because what the other pastor Justin says, you don't put Jesus and can't save in the same sentence. That's it. I, I'm telling you, the pastor was on when he said that. Jesus and can't save don't belong in the same sentence, okay? And so that Jesus saves. Bam, okay? Now, what I, and so I said that in a video. I don't know which video it is, and I don't want to go back and try to find it either. But the, uh, what I did say is, is Jesus can always save you. Jesus can always save you, no matter how low you fall. And that was my point. And this, this brother talked about Jay-Z being poetic. I don't listen to Jay-Z that deeply. And I'm just being honest. You know, I am not a Jay-Z fan, period. There's no personal hate. There's nothing, uh, nothing other than... I just, you know, the style, I could never catch his rhythm. I could never catch his beat. It just never, it just never hit me. So I just, you know, it's up like a what, what. I, I like that. And, um, you know, and, you know, that's just me, you know, and my tonality. I mean, I've actually warmed up to him a little bit more lately for a few reasons. I could tell you he was wearing a pea coat in that jacket and that's like mine. Uh, he was starting to play the big bands. He had a band behind him. I was kind of, I was impressed with that. And um, other than that, let me see anything. But he doesn't, he just doesn't strike a chord with me. And and other people like him, and I just kind of went along with it, and I had not say nothing. Now, DMX, uh, down with it. You know, I don't even like to d listen to DMX too much because it'll start to influence me. You know, or um, what's his name? Ice Cube. You know, uh, you know. There's definitely some raps that I like. I mean, yeah, Most Def. I like that last one, but it took me a while to warm up to Most Def. You know, so it ain't no thing. You know, and some I don't catch on the wave of things just because people like them. So I don't have an affection for him, so it was really easy for me to, you know. But let me say this, all right. At the time, like I said, I when he when I heard it, given and, and I listened to it in the context because, you know, the way the song is divided up, you can pretty much tell what's going on, and it caught my ear because of New York and Alicia Keys hits a serious hook. Now, there's a lot to be said. Now, I listened to his brother, and he was talking about what Jay-Z meant. Can't tell what he meant. You can tell what he said, okay? So, uh, you know, and again, you know, we're philosophizing and theologizing or whatever uh, at this point. But uh, just out of the respect of what the brother is saying, but I respectfully disagree. You know, Jesus and can't save don't, as the other press, it don't belong in the same sentence, period. Jesus saves, period, 
Okay, so to say that is going, you know, is going to lift up some ears, you know, and I believe Jay Z is very aware and quite aware of what he's doing. If he meant anything, he meant exactly what he said. Now, reason why I said, like I said in the previous video, when I first said something, so I wasn't a non-responding Christian about it. I did respond, but I didn't make a big deal out of it, and I didn't address it uh, personally. And I think that's the whole ploy, ploy, uh, ploy of it all is to make a big deal out of it, and it probably will catch your ears and stuff like that. You know, um, you know, without getting too personal, um, which I don't. You know, uh, you know, I don't think that. You know, Jay Z knows exactly what he's doing. Jay Z has a philosophy behind what he's doing, and you know, there's been uh, lots of stuff said about Jay Z, Illuminati, and Rihanna, and and all the videos about um, uh, and Busta Rhymes and all of this stuff. And nowadays, there seem to be, as that brother said, the spirit of the Antichrist in rap. Okay, there's a lot of powers that be, and you know, if we know anything about the um, uh, about uh, revelations, you know, the Antichrist, he don't want you to do any business unless it represents him, you know, and so um, you know, so you know, I don't think I don't think that this is not influenced by him, you know, or by it or whatever have you. So I think they're very aware of what they're doing. So, uh, but when I read the, when I look at it in poetic context, which is why I said Jesus can always save you. And like I said in the first video that I did is that it hurts the people who actually, uh, who may get in their situations where they, uh, are actually experienced the new Lord life and gets in that situation where you hit rock bottom, you taste the apple and it gradually grows on you and all that stuff. Now, I do believe he is talking about a situation and I don't believe that he was saying that, um, that he was specifically saying that Jesus doesn't have the power or capability to say that. I don't believe that he was saying that. Okay. All right. So for that reason, I apologize. You know, I don't think it, I just think it's something that we as fearful Christians would never say. Okay. Jay-Z, whether he's a fearful Christian or not, I doubt it. I've actually seen something on YouTube where he says, I never look at the Bible, <laughs> you know, and that just came off the top of my head. You know, again, that's what he said. I don't know if he meant it or not. <laughs> or whatever, but, you know, uh, I just happened to see that at one time, because I get into these philosophical discussions, and play, probably places where I don't need to be on online, <laughs> but if somebody says something about Jesus, I will go to bat, okay, so, you know, some places where I shouldn't be, you know, I'll, somebody will say something, and then I'll come out of the woodworks, <laughs> but God's got somebody everywhere, so, <laughs> So, um, this is the thing I want to say. I do believe that what he was doing was, the, and, and I don't mean to give him fuel for fire, but um, I do believe he was describing a situation that happens with girls and people that come to New York, and I can say the same thing has happened to me. So you get involved in the city, you come bright lights, big lights, and, and then it starts to slowly, slow you, pull you down. I remember talking to, when I had myself together up there, I, I was, uh, you know, I was on top of my game. I was talking to the bar, uh, a bar, um, a bouncer, and he says, you know what, I think, you know, the people who live that life, he says, you know, people that live that life, they have like a breakdown every three days, <laughs> a nervous breakdown every three days, and then they're back okay, or at least once a month, and then they're back on the scene, and they're always hanging out, you know, uh, forgive me for the video skipping, but the point is, is that I do believe, and in the context of the line that was written, you know, I do believe it was a, a, a play on words, 
but I do believe that it was more so geared to a woman who was trying to live this life uh, not listening in the church and saying that um, and basically it's like she decided that Jesus can't save her He and I think Jay-Z was talking about Jesus can't save you because you ain't going to let him because life starts at, at the church ends because you can't wait to get out of the church. So what the brother was saying, Cordobo, I do believe that he was making a correct interpretation of what Jesus said. But that don't matter. If you talk about the Lord and we love the Lord, you know, somebody going to get some slingshots and say... <laughs> And say, come here, Goliath. <laughs> and that's just the way, you know, Christian is, you know. You know, so that's what I believe, you know. So I do believe that Jay-Z was talking about a woman who who is so hard-headed that Jesus can't save her in a sense of, you know, she's not listening. She's not listening in church. And her life, you know, her finger popping starts as soon as she gets out of church. Okay. And that I believe to be the context. So, you know, but Jay Z, you know, you know, <laughs> you go offend a lot of people doing that. And that's why I told, as I tried on my last video, did some for dollars because that's going to raise some eyebrows and stuff like that. You know, but, uh, and I do think that there is an agenda behind the stuff that is done in that video. And I do believe he is very aware of it, you know. And so, um, you know, that, that does be the case. And But if it is wrong for me to just be like Jay-Z dish and, you know, you know, your dish don't mean nothing. Because, <laughs> you know, compared to God, you have been here, what, 40-something years? as long as I have. That's nothing but a spit. And, you know, so it's not that God needs defending, okay? It's just that, you know, and like I said, if you say, well, you know, at face value, if you say, well, the church, as the other two people, the couple said, you know, well, now you're talking about us. <laughs> now you're talking about me. <laughs> and so, you know, when you said Jesus can't save you, uh, you know, I do believe that it's inappropriate because you lead people to believe that the Lord can't help you and he can always help you. He can always help you no matter what your situation. And I can tell you, I've been in some pretty, <laughs> that I was beyond help and he still helped me <laughs> in New York. <laughs>